Hello everybody! Welcome to another Fire Emblem E3 Showcase. Today, we're playing Fire Emblem Celestaris, specifically Book Zero. This is a hack made by Velvet Kitsune. Uh, my name is XP Games and L, and uh, welcome to another FE E3 Showcase. I've seen a lot of this hack um, in like screenshots and stuff, and I kind of know Velvet Kitsune a little bit. Uh, from the Discord and also on FAU. I've seen some very promising stuff, but this is the first time I'll be playing this particular hack. I've been provided with a save file, and I'm just curious. Uh, we have Chapter 16X right here. This is the uh, chapter I'm going to show off today. Uh, so yeah, let's just dive right into it. I'm very excited to see what has been cooked up. Um, that's always something I look forward to. Oh, wow. Chapter 16X, look at the title crawl, damn. Wow. That's sick. Happy music pops up. I really love the uh, the portraits that Velvet Kitsune like, has made for the most part. I thought it was uh, Velvet who did most of the portraits themselves. They look really, really good. I love the colors on that. Oh no, don't feel bad about beating up people in a Fire Emblem game. I will scout ahead for now. I see. Oh, and we immediately dive into the battle prep. So let's see who we have here. We of course do have Velvet right here. And I have noticed that, holy damn, there's so much stuff. Jesus. Likes cheese, I can admire that, but... Oh, shit. This is really, really, really interesting. There's so much stuff. Wow, look at those stats. That's crazy. Grim Frenzy. Oh my god, so many skills. This looks technical. We also have a lot of units right here. So many units. Who's this? Seven. I love this, we get a thief. Okay, so we have a bunch of characters here. All of them seem very, very strong. We even get, we even get like a wolf? Damn. That's cool, wow! This roster is also huge. I have no clue who to play with, really. We get a playable gargoyle too? Oh my god, that's sick. We get a wolf knight, that's also sick. Damn. I really, really love this. This is... Wow. So many units, so much customization. I think I'll just stick for the most part with the units that we have right now, although... I don't know if we should get, like, a Cavalier in. There's so many units to choose from. It's crazy. I do think uh, I'm gonna stick with the characters who've been selected for now. I do like those Wu Daos, though. I might uh, switch uh, Iante, is it, out for uh, one of the Myrmidons with the Wu Dao. There's so many cool weapons. I'm bringing along Haruki because I want to see how that works. Let's see what on the road, the many accounts that you can come across various people that you've met. What is this? Huh? Oh, oh, what? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I really like this. I do not know specifically what this is, but this looks very cool. The tech in this hack, man. Wow. Okay, so we have a... Ooh, we got a little sparkle on the ground. I think we need to go over there. This is such a crazy hack. What the hell? I have never seen a lot of this tech before, so this is, this is sick. Ooh, we got a claw weapon. Martial Monk. Steel Knuckle. Yo... This is epic! Let's see, we have the boss here, Fuyuko, with a Master Seal, that's interesting. I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. Uh, anyway, let's just get started, I guess. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna dive into it right now. Still, he has a lot more guards, I see. Yeah, bad guy, beating up time, let's go! 
Uh oh. Middle of nowhere like this. She might be recruit recruitable. Repel the invaders. Oh yes! Order of Ecclesia music. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so we have uh, Celine here. Okay, Velvet, so main lord shenanigans. I love the music. I'm a very big Castlevania fan. Th if this is Castlevania, I should remember that correctly, but you never know. I might just screw up. Do characters have extra moves? Oh, he has like three extra moves. That's cool. I love the music. My god. Such a banger. Oh, and this song too. I do not know where it's from, but I, I recognize it from somewhere. Oh my god. That's such a banger way to start your map too, with such a song. For uh, Chapter 16X, this is a very good song, I imagine. It's like a good mid-game song. Let's see. How does Sterling do it as an archer? Oh, we have a Master Seal. I should have promoted maybe in advance, actually. Wait, your bow is almost broken. Um, that's something to worry about. Wait, do characters have their own unique attack themes? Wait a second. Because that is cool. Oh! Pursuit is a, like a longbow kind of deal? It does sound like each unit has their own attack themes. That is also cool. Big fan of that because uh, for my own hack, I implemented that too. It's such a neat little thing to do. I'm worried about this guy. Okay, stops an enemy from moving. Okay, just that's just uh, a, 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 basically a dark, dark uh, priest, I guess. We should be fine though. Oh, look at that. Velvet is going wild. I love the idea that each unit has their own little attack theme. The amount of stuff that is in this hack, though, is absolutely crazy. Oh, look at that crit. So these enemies are in Ganora, if I pronounce that correctly. Those who hail from the technology-focused human kingdom of... Uh, in, in Ganora. Oh, we got the calves up there. We're out of range. Uh, that could be a problem. Frost. Debuff's enemy minus one move. There's so much stuff here. I'm I'm really excited to, to dive deeper in here. We even have a thief too. How many lockpicks do we need? Oh my god. I'm really blown away by the sheer amount of stuff that is in this hack. Like... Um, personally, I do, uh, have the preference for hacks being rather simple and building off the standard, or the somewhat solid foundation that is Fire Emblem 8, but I really don't mind them experimenting with stuff on their own, like right now. What's happening? Oh, that's, that, whoa, what's that animation? Damn. You know, stuff like that always makes me smile, to see, yo, to see, like, hacks experiment with so much cool stuff. I really love that. I do encourage people to do it, because uh, even though I'm uh, a sucker for having just a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack that bases itself off the foundation of FE8 and just makes other very interesting maps. I'm also a big fan of people just unleashing their creativity and going ahead and pouring a lot of passion in their stuff. Well, that's a sword calf. Oh, we double two? The reason I'm rushing with Velvet is because I really want to see uh, if we can get that Troubadour recruited. Okay, miss. Cool. That's also fine. Kind of anticipated on that. 
Sterling doing well here. I love the fact that you get, like, a movement debuff whenever you get hit by a Frost Dome. That's sick. I love that animation with the hat, wow. That's sick. And adorable as hell, too. Ooh, that's... That could be a problem, but hey, we fixed it. No, the hand X. Actually, it worked out pretty well right now. Okay, that's fine, too. Not to worry about that. We were doing well. So far, so good. We at least sort of... Oh... Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh! Oh, indicator where the uh, reinforcements spawn? That is such a neat idea. So, Klepto Mage, huh? That's just a magic thief? That's also a very cool idea. Vimblefetter, though! That's scary on a freaking thief. Just saying. Damn. So you're one of the ones who've come out in the middle of nowhere. You're so weird. What people? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh! Character's getting replaced. Ooh. For the uh, uh, essence of the showcase, I will just recruit her right now. I think that has to do with the fact that you don't have access to... Uh, uh, like, unlimited unit slots in FE8. So, replacement units... That's interesting. But it also brings, like... Huh, that's an... In it's just an interesting mechanic. Uh... It makes me a little curious, though, because... Um... It could mean... That... You... Or, like... I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to play the game at the same time as trying to uh, share my thoughts. The thing is, is that I find it really interesting because it makes you... Uh, it makes you think about uh, what would be the best option, and... I guess it's a good idea to have in your hack to also circumvent the maximum unit issues, uh, and to still have a lot of characters. The only thing I kind of worry about is... Um, that you might just sacrifice a unit uh, that you don't really want to. Uh, because you might think unit A is, uh, the new unit you recruit is better than the old one. But that's just something you have to think about, I guess. Personally, I think it can be a cool idea if it's executed properly. I have no idea, though, because I have not played too much of this game. This is literally my first time playing it. Iron Swihander. Always attacks last, unable to double, knocks enemies back. Damn. Well, I'd rather double this guy. Even with a weapon triangle disadvantage, we do still have a really good chance at dodging. Yo, what is that sprite? That's sick. Okay, we did get hit, but we should be fine. Level up for Liebe. A movement level up! Hey, yo! And constitution. What's this? Titanium lance. Oh, it's just a very powerful lance, I see. I kind of want to take down that monk before he does something funky. That dancer animation is so sick. 
That's a one shot. Bonk. Goodbye, monk. Would you look at that? We're rather safe right now. There are a bunch of calves here, but we should be able to just draw them out. And as long as we are uh, quick enough to reach this treasure chest right here, we should be fine. Uh, as for these guys, we should be fine. It's a steel axe versus a alliance unit. Um, I do not really like that prospect, but we do have some options still. Let's just test out, uh, oh wow, Wu Dao. I'm a sucker for that weapon. No crit? No. Okay, the dodge is nice though. That is a crit. I'm a sucker for the Wu Dao. I'm a sucker for high crit weapons. Yo. Let's see, um, does anyone have like shove? Or something? I prob probably not. No. Um, we could put the thief in front, but on the other hand. Oh, steel pole axe. That's such a heavy axe? Damn. We could just uh, put the thief in front, I guess. Oh, but now. Oh, I might have screwed up. Um, yeah, this is not looking good. This is looking kind of awful. Um, do we have a unit with a lot of uh, defense? Okay, Fenris has decent defense, um, because we might want to rescue, uh, Libet. Oh, we can't. Oh, darn. This could end pretty, pretty badly. That's a crit. Unless in one way or another we can distract. Wait a second. Can I pull a big brain move and instead put, um, I have an idea that could work out. I actually have a very useful, a very neat idea. So, okay, that calf can go on the pillar. Um... I don't know who they'll go for. I guess what we'll do is... Um, I'm in a very tricky situation, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place... I'm going to put you here. And then put a mine here. I really want to see if the mine can save us right now. Let's hope this works out, actually. A door was opened. Oh, shit! The reed! Let's go! Such a smart move. The mine actually coming in clutch. Damn. That's such, that's, wow. I didn't expect that to actually save our skins right there. No, not our dancer. Oh, it actually worked too. Damn. Okay, uh, nothing to worry about though. We do have to worry about the thief a little bit. We do have a lot of enemies on low health here. That's good. Uh, let's heal you up. I'm having a lot of fun right now. You know, with such a play, how can I not? Uh, we do have to worry about that calf right here. Um, 
That calf could be a problem. Uh, first though, it might be best to... Oh, we could lure... That's a sword... Those are all sword guys. Aoi is a uh, sword unit too. We might just put Aoi there with a rapier. That might be the best uh, thing we can do right now. Um, launch, deal with this guy. Go ahead. Oh, the Roy animation. Sick. Okay, that's one enemy taken care of. I would love to have uh, Seven go and loot the chest up here. Oh, hey. Seal Flatbow. Two. Oh my, that's such a heavy weapon. He, ha he has no likes. This man doesn't like anything. Damn. Kind of boring, if you ask me. Okay, you have a javelin. Okay, I have a, I have a really neat idea. Um... We do have to kill this enemy first, though. What's this? Deals magic damage, beast effective. Okay. Wait. Horses? Huh? The icon is flashing, but... We don't deal more damage, I guess? Interesting. Uh, we need to take down this cavalier. We might just want to do that, uh, or at least we can the calf with uh, Sterling. Archer gang, Archer gang. Let's move uh, seven up ahead. What's your damage? Uh, 26. We have... Okay, so at least we survived because I don't expect this guy to double. 10 defense for a thief, too. 13... 20, okay. And you have a knife, right? 1 to 2 range. Which also seems cool. And then it has the status debuff from Fates, too. By the looks of it. Yeah, minus... Oh, okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. So now... Uh, eliminate this guy. The calf, please. That's such a high crit rate on Fenris, too. Wow. All right, level up. Wow, movement and con. Whoa. All right, then we have uh, Ira here. Uh, let's just attack with the javelin right here, and then we have the pillar cover, so we should be fine. Brand. What was that skill? What proc right there? Let's see. Uh, Umbran Cartographer. On tiles of notes, era will map it down. Maps are sold. End of the chapter. Excuse me? That sounds really funky and really cool. Nice crit. I. So, uh, yeah, we cannot do a lot with uh, Ar uh, Arya right here. Brave Knuckle. Yo. Speed percentage chance to strike again. 20%. Oh my god. Dislikes being ignored. You and me both. Um. I guess we just keep Velvet and Aoi chilling down here. I guess. Do you two support or something? Dislike scary things. Uh, again, me too. Um. I'm also not a fan of scary things. Let's just wait for these guys to come in. We have the pillar cover, let's go. Nice. We're also banking on this happening. Nice dodge rate, look at this. Overkill. Triple the damage. That's like 105 damage out of the top of my head. Nice. Hello. Aoi's 
fantastic. Wow, look at that. The animation, too. Damn. Ah, we level up. Movement. Hey, yo, let's go. Uh oh. Yeah, that might be a little uh, dangerous. But luckily, the new recruitment we have, the Troubadour, actually has a physics. You can wield lances. Or wait, huh? No, but you do have a killer lance, a spare one? Interesting. Where'd you get that? Okay, we do double with that. Um... Does anyone have like an anti-horse weapon that we could use? Or we just throw a Fenris at the problem, that's also a... A neat solution, go ahead. Nice dodge. And the crit to finish it off. Not necessary at all, but... Sure, I'll take it. Uh, let's heal up seven. We should pay attention to that pirate down there, though. HP, okay. That was not very worth it. But we even have an arena down here. Let's uh, loot this chest first. Vimblefeather. That sounds good to me. Uh, we have this guy. Sword duo? Wait. Okay, that's just the, the, the mage. Range? Okay, perfect. We're not in range. Duel time! Can Liebe win? Yo! Fantastic, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's slowly start pushing towards the uh, throne room, I guess. Launch, break your weapon on this guy. There you go. Level up time. Look at that. Iron Sword broke. But not to worry. Titanium Lance is in our hands now. Very cool. Um. So yeah, we can just wait for this guy to do their thing. I guess. Just a steel axe? Okay. In that case, iron blade it is. Conserving weapon uses. Uh, we should use the dancer too. In fact... Okay, these guys are just stationary. That's, that's fine. What's the range of the cav? Okay, perfect. Because my strat is, dancer with this much movement is so neat too. My strat is to just rush up to the uh, uh, to the thief and eliminate them before they get to the th to the treasure in general, because I don't know if they prefer to attack us first or if they want to, uh, you know, steal the treasure and not and ignore us completely. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Thief is down, and we're out of range of the lance cav, so neat. Effective use of the Dancer, who is very satisfying to use with that high movement. And for the rest, I guess we just should start going towards the opponent. Right here. Oh, we can even uh, weaken this guy. Alright, we haven't moved uh, Velvet, but that's fine. I do want to peek into the shop, even though buying stuff is not really of essence, because uh, there's, this is just a one-chapter showcase. But I'm still curious to uh, what other items we have not seen that are in this hack. Oh no, the 80% miss! Alright. Uh, Seven, you loot this. 
judgment? Will turn an enemy to stone. Damn. Light magic B. We don't have a light magic user. Do we even have a mage? I don't think so. Which is interesting. Do we have uh, magma, sec uh, magma Securities? So... Oh, I forgot to check out what the sparkling tiles do. Let's do this. What do the sparkling tiles do? Um, let me check. There was... Okay, interesting. I didn't see anything happen right there. Oh, we have one more use of that remaining. That's not a lot. Um, ooh, this guy packs a punch, too. Light brand. What does the light brand do? Oh, this is a ranged weapon. Okay, that kills, actually. Nice. Perfect. Okay, it's also C's map. That's also good to know. Oh, wow. Does the boss move? Nope. Okay, that's good. Who is the boss, even? Can we get a little bit more info? Fuyuko, nicknamed Crystal, a pioneer in the research of cryomancy, and uses related... Uh... Ah... This is the Ice Lady. Cool. Cryomancy. That's a cool term. Look at that. So that's the throne room guys dealt with. Ooh, almost level up for Liba there. Let's make use of the Dancer. Because, you know... It would be a waste if we didn't. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, well, wait. Oh, wait. That's because we're next to that other unit who does not have full HP. It's a bit of a waste, but I don't mind. Okay, we should get seven uh, over here. I'm leaving uh, Fenris here for the backup support. I still don't know what these little sparkles do, uh, because I waited on one of them, and it didn't really have an effect. Massive overkill, but I don't care. Level up time for Velvet. Let's see. HP, Strength, Skill, Speed, Luck, and Resistance. Cool, cool. Titanium sword, halberd. Okay, we can basically send the Aoi there. I trust you. Let's move Velvet over to the throne room. And let's move Seven toward the treasure. I'm gonna turn the uh, uh, animations off for a second so that uh, we don't have to watch the uh, dance animation. It's really beautiful, but I don't really want to look at it uh, every single time right now. There you go. Uh, yeah, let's just start moving towards the boss and see if we can uh, defeat her. Also at the same time, just nabbing the treasure. Okay, that guy moves. Oh! Reinforcements. Nothing too bad, though. We can handle those. I'm not worried. Just out of reach. Damn. Um, this is a axe guy. We have swords. Wait. Oh, it's just an item icon thing, I guess. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Um. I thought we had swords, but we don't. Not to worry, though. We'll just regroup right here. Uh, send Velvet up as well. And 
ages of are we? Oh, mountains. The mountain cover. Waste of a rapier, but... Eh. Nice. Good stuff, S rank. Nice. And I guess we just start attacking the boss then. Ooh, that critical hit rate though. That's kind of scary. We do uh, outrange the boss. Greetings, Evader. You're getting in the way of my research. I'm sorry. Chion, what does that tome do? That's an interesting tome right there. Ooh, movement level up, let's go. Let's see. Uh, debuffs enemy, minus one move. Ley lines, skill percent chance to do speed extra damage on hit. Oh, that's scary. I might just risk it for the biscuit here, unless... Okay, the crit is not there. And we should be fine if we do this. Yeah, the crit is not there. This could work out. Come on, Liebe. You can do it. Oh, it's a legendary weapon? Oh, that's a kill. Woo! Let's go! And level up time. Let's go, Liebe. Give me a good level up. Perfect! Masterful! I love this. At this point... There's a phase two? Excuse me. I didn't expect to run into a Dark Souls boss. There's a phase two? Huh? No way. That's sick. That's sick. I was like, ah, the boss is dead. I do find it very fair that the boss doesn't move after the fate or after they've been defeated once. Because that makes it, uh. Yeah, that makes it more fair. Uh. Set the Vimble Vetter to the convoy, I guess. We do not have enough range to move the rest of the crew. Did her defense just increase too? Did her stats change? She got plus five magic from the weapon, supposedly. Uh, that's still a kill. We do have to start to worry about those guys. Um, let's turn animations up real quick. Uh, let's dance. Let's see, uh, animations back on again. Let's see what there is in the armory. Ooh, steel Swyhinder. Always attacks last. That damage though. Storm Sword, capable of indirect uh, physical attacks. Okay, that's cool. So it's like basically just a uh, ranged. Um, just a standard hand axe, but then in sword form, I guess, and you don't throw it. Compact axe, that's just a slim axe, I guess. Steel great axe. So there's a tier of weapons that just, uh, launch you back. Steel flat bow, cool stuff. There's also the shop. Ooh, I see Elfire, Arcfire, El Thunder. Arc Thunder, L Wind, Arc Wind, Frost, Jormungand. Cool. I love the weapon icons too. They look sick. Let's uh, finish this though. Let's see. Uh, Iron Blade will work quite well as well. Oh, the ponytail. 
Bang! Let's go, Aoi. Nice. Strength. Perfect. I have no complaints. Uh, let's see how Velvet does here. Oh, that's just... Wow. Um... I'm a little bit worried she might die, though. Because of the 1% crit. I'm worried that she dies. Unless, you know... We... Do this. Let's do this. Don't crit, please. Thank God. Nice. Alright. I do want to finish this with Velvet, because... Um, main character, creator of the hack, you know... This should be a kill. Goodbye. Bonk. How did it even come to this? Well, you know... I've played a lot of Dark Souls in my time, so I'm very used to second phases as well as you're talking to a guy who effectively used a mind this chapter to uh, not lose people so I guess oh I do still want to fight this guy just to just uh, you know show off the voodoo some more I want some more love for that weapon look at all these soldiers rushing in hello Yo, the crit. What we'll do is we'll just take the uh, treasure and then uh, seize the throne. There's an endless swarm of soldiers coming our way. Inari's Grace. That's one of the dancer rings, right? Yeah. To the convoy with you. And... Oh, seize the throne. I was like, huh? Cool tome. <laughs> Oh! Ice magic, that's so cool. I really love the fact that it's in there. Also, the spell animations are really cool. From the looks of it... Uh-huh, cloning?! What is ch chimerification? If, if if it means that they can turn people into chimeras, that's that's an interesting thing. Uh huh. Clones. I see. Clones. That's also sick. Cool story beat. <laughs> nope, I don't know much about all this side stuff. We got the tome, though. Cool. And 500 rolled. Awarding bonus experience. Oh, bonus experience for all of the un... Ah, that's also cool. Oh, now we're going to award bonus experience for every unit. Um, We might be here for a while, then. In that case, um, I might just start... a. Uh, Closing off the video in that case, uh, wait, or unless we uh, we cannot skip it, right? No, I don't think so. Um, in that case, uh, thank you all so much for watching this uh, FEE3 showcase. Shout out to Velvet for asking me uh, to do a video on this to showcase the project. I have had a lot of fun with this hack. The amount of stuff you can do with so much new stuff being included on top of the foundation of base FE8 is just amazing. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you have had a lot of fun watching. Definitely check out this project. Um, yeah, make sure to just give it a, a big heart on the FE Universe thread. It should be in the description, the, a link to it. Uh, and, you know, if you, um, if you do have the time, uh, could you please uh, just... Go to a YouTube channel called XP Games and L and just have a little look around there. That would be also much appreciated. Um, then again, though, uh, this has all been uh, the showcase for uh, 
yeah, this hack. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a good FEE3, or have had, I don't know when this is going up. Uh, but thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time when uh, I do a new video or a new showcase with me pops up. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.